What's up, people? Uh, today, I'm just making a basic After Effects 2K tutorial. Uh, because mainly I have uh, quite a few people asking me to help them with a uh, private session and stuff. But I, for one, just don't feel like doing that. And I don't have the time to private session everybody that asks me for help. So this is... This is basically what I'm gonna uh, do to help you guys for the most part. So, to start off with, we're just gonna do basic After Effects stuff. I mean, you can literally look up a different video and get this same information mostly. So, <clears throat> I mean, I think a lot of you already know how to do this, but to import a clip, you want to come to this project area where it says project or I don't know what they call it but project area you can either right click and hit import but I usually just do do I just double click on it and import the clip import to make a composition of the clip all you have to do is right click on it and make new comp from selection or you can take this and drag it into this little box right here either way works perfectly fine so as you can see this clip is 720p and we want this to be 1080p so all we got to do is adjust our composition settings go up here to this preset area and just scroll down until you see HDTV 1080 2090 97 29.97 and hit hit confirm and as you can see it enlarged the uh, you know the resolution of the composition but not the clip so what you want to do now is you just right click on the clip transform fit to comp simple as that all right so now you wouldn't have to have to do that if uh, if your clip is already a 1080p clip but majority of the time people are editing 720p clips off of the console so I just wanted to tell you how to do that just in case you uh, run into that issue so now uh, let's get into pan crop pan crop is very easy it mostly consists of position and scaling. So what you want to do to start doing the position and scaling, you want to first go down here into the source name area. I don't know what this is called, but I'm gonna call it the source name area or the timeline. You want to first click on this little drop down arrow over here. And then as you can see, all of these, um, all of these selections have a stopwatch next to it. And what the stopwatch means is that you, uh, you've you activated the keyframes for that selection. So now, every single thing that you do to the selected area that you have the stopwatch activated will be recorded. And since it will be recorded, it will be reflected on the clip. So say, uh, let's, let's zoom in the clip. Let's zoom into the player that's when you get the ball. And you don't want to like move your clip too much or you'll have the borders of your, your clip being exposed, which you don't want that to happen. So you just want to move it until like the edge of it or just zoom in a little bit more. And now this is zoomed in on the player. You just want to scroll through the timeline and just move it. That's all you have to do. And if you want to zoom out, just zoom out or zoom in. But make sure if you zoom out, you fix it to it fits the uh, the parameters of the of the video. So yeah, that's that's pan cropping in a nutshell. Just moving through the timeline, moving the positioning to the player, and and if you want to, you can turn on motion blur to make it a little bit smoother and then after you're done pan cropping uh you want to 
highlight all the keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy use them all. And there you have pan crop. Simple, simple as that. And uh, to add, let's say you wanna add a color correction or something to it. I could tell you how to manually, I'm gonna tell you how to manually make a color correction first, but, and then I'll tell you how to do, use the uh, magic bullet if you do have it. So it's pretty simple to make a color correction. Uh, all you wanna do is you want to right click, go to, the, go to the effects and just go to like color correction area and literally everything in here will color correct the clip in some type of way so when i'm manually making color corrections i usually start off with brightness and contrast and just uh you know slightly adjust the brightness and contrast so it looks a little bit more cleaner so what i like to do is i like to up the contrast and lower the brightness just a tad bit just so you know the blacks and the shadows show better and uh if you want to you can add like a glow to it but make sure you up the threshold on the glow so that the glow isn't you know drowning out the entire clip and uh, uh and you can also go like where is it? Tint. Here it is. This is another way to do a simple color correction. You can like add red and just like, you know, just color it. That's what color correction is. And I mean, that's simple. You could color correct with anything. But let's. Let's use Magic Bullet because that's a lot better to use. So if you have Red Giant Magic Bullet, so yeah, Red Giant Magic Bullet looks. And then yeah, you hit edit, hit the edit button. And once you come here, you have Red Giant comes with a whole bunch of preset custom um, preset looks that come pre blended that's what I usually do. I don't usually make my own. I just like uh, look and see which one looks cool. I click on it and I adjust it like through here. I, if I don't like the way it looks, I can just easily adjust it with this little curves, this little graph right here. Just make it a little bit brighter. Uh, yeah, that's a, uh, color correction right there um what else can i go over uh oh yeah i guess i can go over tracking because i like even though i've already went over this people still ask me to like tell them how to do it so I'll do it again and I'll learn how to use track camera so I'll teach you how to do that too. So let's start with motion track motion because it's a lot simpler. So what you want to do is you want to click track motion and then it'll bring you to this screen and, and it will always put your uh, viewing settings into full because it has to be in full to get the most of out, out the clip. So as you can see, there's this little box right here on your screen. You wanna just move it to somewhere that has high contrast to everything else on the court. And what I mean by that is, it's either really black or really white. And if it's not, and if it like mixes with the same color, it won't track well because it has to be of high contrast to everything else on the court. So for time's sake, I'm just gonna put this on my head because it's black. And just, I wanna do next is hit the play button right here. And it's just gonna track my head. 
<clears throat> yeah. And when that happens, you might want to just make this smaller so it doesn't go to anything else. It, just keep making it smaller if that happens. You can always zoom in to make it even smaller. Just make sure it stays in the right position. Oh god. Alright, so once it's tracked and everything, I'm just going to stop it right here because I don't want to go through the whole clip. So I'm going to stop it. And then once you have it tracked, uh, I don't have another. Let me just grab a picture or something. Uh, let's use this, I guess. use this up so now since I backed out the tracking uh, to go back into it just go to motion source find the the matching uh, motion source that you use on the track and just click on it and it should go back to where it was so start off where we left off is uh, now that we have our little image you want to hit edit target and make sure that the edit target is matching the one that you want to track on to this point and once you do that just hit apply yes so now the the sup is tracking to my head even though it's not a good track it's still tracked to my head uh simple simple as that simple as that now for the for the track camera let's do something else for that I might get another clip <clears throat> so for now for the track camera for the track camera you want to first right click on it pre-compose it leave or not leave all attributes or bring all attributes if you did something to it then you want to you want to bring all attributes to what you've done to it but if you haven't just leave all attributes but now once you uh pre-compose it you want to go back to the original composition and uh, hit track camera. So now, once you hit track camera, you notice that it's gonna be analyzing in the background. So you basically just wanna wait until, uh, you know, all frames are are rendered. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna continue eating my uh, my breakfast burrito. It's gonna solve the camera. Oh shit! I forgot. Oh fuck. Make sure that whenever you do this you have detailed analysis check marked. And you'll see why in a second. Now it's gonna have to redo all of it. I'ma cut it out, don't worry. Alright. Alright, so now now um now that you have the detailed analysis enabled. You want to uh, increase the target size and the track point size so you can at least see these some images. Damn, how big they gotta be? Can you see them? <sighs> Bruh. I'm increasing the size of it. Man. All right, whatever. Y'all can still see the point. So what you want to do is with this uh, 3D camera tracker, you just want to find somewhere that you want to play something. So it has this entire clip tracked out. So whatever, whatever this target represents is how whatever you want to place something somewhere is going to look so for time's sake I'm just gonna put something 
I'm gonna put something on the billboard. So now that you have a target selected, you wanna right click and then you can create a text, a solid, a null, so you can put something else there. I don't know what that is and everything else is irrelevant to me, but these three up here are important. So I'm, for time being, I'm just put uh, create text and stuff so you can see it. And if you go back and hit play, the audio. If you go back and hit play, let's get to a point where the camera moves. Okay, there we go. Now you can you get it's as you can see it's completely tracked onto the on the billboard like it's actually there in game, which is a really good feature to use because it not only does it track the billboard but it tracks the entire like the whole shit the whole camera bro it's it's pretty good but uh you de you definitely have to have like you have to have good specs to use it because if you don't then as you can see I'm already using up 86% and 92% of my CPU just just having this up so make sure you have a decent something to work with it because if you don't then I barely have anything on the screen and it's already about to crash my PC so be careful with this feature but yeah that's that's all for today if you have any other questions or something just DM me on Twitter or uh, comment what other shit you need help with and yeah peace out